Spoilers, what's going on? We're doing another mod spotlight for you today. Oh yeah, this one is actually fantastic if you're running a ton of vaults, or in fact, you're of the opinion that reforging, while appears really simple, is actually just a complete pain in the ass. What am I talking about? Reforging is one of those things where we tend to just look for the simplest solution. And that simplest of solutions is usually reaching something like a hit cap. If we're any class whatsoever, we want to make sure we hit our targets. So we go ahead and we reforge around, we juggle our stats, we watch a guide like one of mine, and I might say to you, crit is your worst stat. Okay, so we just go through our items and we change all the crit to hit until we're about at the cap. And then we have a little bit of a fidget, we have a little bit of a play around, and we try and buff up the rest of the stats that we think are pretty cool. And then we're pretty happy because we've got our hit cap, that's the main thing. And we maybe got our expertise cap. And after that, we've generally fidgeted it around a little bit to make sure our best stats are buffed in some way. What we don't tend to do, and what the top end raiders have done in the past, is we might spend 30, 40 minutes juggling all our stats around to not only meet our hit cap, but to try and get the best of the best out of our other good stats. We're not generally happy making sure we're just hit capped because we maybe we can push out a little more haste if i swap this thing to hit if i maybe juggle this little bit of mastery around things like that now there's an add-on out there now i've been a big hater of these kind of add-ons for so long i really have but this one has actually turned my attention it really has it's called reforginator it's this little bugger up here this little piece of blue snot lying on your mini map up here it's reforginator now the good thing about this add-on i did my little bit of homework uh, i looked into this stuff i did check out all the reforge add-ons especially as i play 31 specs uh getting the reforging right is something that i like to be comfortable with because it's a great source of buffing your dps as you progress through your gear and it's very cheap to reforge it's very very cheap compared to maybe dropping 130 gold on a gem you can actually reforge all your gear for about 130 gold nice nice trade-off to boost your stats now reforginator is pretty different to the other reforging add-ons out there in a couple of ways one it's so simple it's such a basic layout and design that we're going to get into shortly and secondly these guys follow the big big mathemagicians out there things like elites jerk tank spots shadowpriest.com all these things and when something is proven not when it's in the theory stage and all that when something is proven to be a definite reforging advantage for your gear they alter the algorithms of the add-on that day during big changes you'll see this add-on has updates on a daily basis so please if you're using this add-on make sure you're tracking whether or not the add-on has an update because it could be one that affects your class really really good so we're going to jump into it now what i've done is i've logged my dk because i missed this guy he's so handsome looking baller in his full-on set there really cool he's got a nice item level 390 but what i've done is i've unreforged everything everything has no reforges on it whatsoever and there's another reason i picked this particular class i was interested as to whether reforginator actually detects what race you are as you may or may not know orcs have a distinct expertise advantage when using axes so I've equipped myself a couple of axes. I want to see whether or not this add-on will not take into account my race and then leave me well, well above the expertise cap, uh, around 31, 32-ish, if I was another race. So we're interested to see how it's going to come out. So let's look at the add-on itself and then we'll jump into doing some reforging. Go away, preacher. Click reforginator. Simplest thing in the world, guys. It's literally these three little windows. And let me break them down for you. Your top window there is your spec. So it says you're a death knight, you're dew wield frost. It's also got death knight two-handed frost. DK, master frost. I know there's a ton of master frost guys out there who are all thinking, can I try it, can I not? You can actually select it in here. I want to try the master frost build. It will reforge your character towards that. And obviously we've got blood and unholy. Now this works for every single spec. I will log on to another class towards the end of the video just to show you that example. But it will work for every single spec and everything called every single class. You've then got another window with just simply two options, not windows upon windows upon windows of stuff. So happy how simple this add-on is. You can leave reforged items alone. If you're really strapped for cash, which guys, you shouldn't be. Gold is so easy to make these days. Uh, you can say, leave my reforged items alone and just reforge my new stuff if possible. Or you can say, which you should have selected 100% of the time, my friends, consider reforging for anything. Now, this is tricky because one simple item change could mean an entire reforge, a re-reforge of every single item in your inventory. It really can. Because that stat might be able to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
This changes up everything. Let's say a hit trinket is really important. We've reforged to a lot of hit across all our items. Suddenly, we picked up a hit trinket. That changes the game entirely. All the hit can be now f used that you've reforged to in the past. Can now be brought into DPS stats. So we can use this trinket. All this great stuff can be done. So you should always pretty much have considered reforging for anything. PvP is rejoice. You can reforge for PvP. How good is that? You can choose to reforge for heroics. This is very cool if you're leveling a lot of alts. They're hitting level 85. You're a good few runs yet of being able to enter the looking for raid environment. You can click reforge for heroics. That way you're not going to be reforging and sacrificing a lot of stats towards plus hits or expertise or whatever it might be for mobs that generally won't get the benefit of it. If you go ahead and reforge for heroics, that's an entire three boss levels worth of hit and expertise that you can ignore. This works for spellcasters, by the way, guys. No big deal there. They still need the hit just as much as everybody else. You can click reforge for raiding, which is obviously how I roll. And then you've got reforge for PvP. So you're not quite sure how you should reforge for PvP. Just click the add-on, it'll do it for you. So I've done this. Reforge for raiding. I'm a dual wheel frost DK. I want you to consider reforging for anything. Awesome. So let's go see Thaumaturge Zagir, you ethereal looking sexy beast. And let's do how it should say. And I'm interested to see exactly what comes out here. So we open our window, we click our reforger, and you can have all three nicely lined up. This is what I really, really like. We've got all three in a row, and this is how it works. So that's my belt. So I go ahead, belt. I want to change my mastery for haste. Boom. And then you click the little box and it disappears. Gloves, hit for haste rating. Okay, so hit for haste. My necklace, hit for haste. Hit, haste, done. Next one is my axe should be crit to haste. Okay, so I'll go crit haste. Swish, cape, hit to haste. Hit to haste, bump. Other axe, hit to haste. Okie dokie, no problem at all. Hit to haste, do, do ring should be hit to haste. Cool. Click my little box. My legs, expertise over to Oh, it's dropping the expertise. Interesting. Interesting for me as a total wow nerd. I find that totally interesting. <laughs> uh, hit to mastery. Okay, hit mastery. Bump. Boots should be crit to mastery. Okay. Crit to mastery. Bom, bom, bom. And finally, the old braces there should be crit to mastery. Awesome. And that's it. I'm done. Done and dusted. I've reforged everything. And then if you were to try and click anything, it would say, Reforging it has no suggestions for your gear. So, according to the add-on, I should be bish, bash, bosh. Awesome. Let's look at the stats. Expertise 27. And it's only ever so slightly over, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. I like that. It has detected that I'm an orc. That is cool. That is really cool. It's got my hit chance to 8.23. Sweet. It's detected exactly what I need. Going over on the hit cap on a Frost DK. No big deal whatsoever. And it's super maximized my haste. Look at that. 2,327 haste. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and it's also buffed my mastery, which I know because I know the class is sweet. This is cool. Really cool. I like this. This is excellent. This is really, really good. So if I was to, say, equip the old uh, two-hander, where are you? Bump. And say, okay, I want to, I'm still Frost, but I want to be unholy when I get to my raid. What should I do? Oh, look at that, straight away. And reset. See this, if you've got an item that needs resetting. So if I was to go through that list all the way down there, buffing my crit as we should to buff Timmy up, really nice. Taking some expertise away from there this time, and some expertise away from there, Oh, yeah. Brilliant little add-on, guys. And so simple to use. So you can do that. I won't be do Will Frost. Uh, DK. Oh, and I've got the axe in, of course. That's why it's telling me to reforge those. Um, if I was to put the my normal weapons back in and say I want to be DK do Will Frost, no suggestions for my gear. So I'm going to log another character. That's uh, just to demonstrate this for you. Because when we do this, this is the big problem, is we tend to just get to our hit and expertise and then we'll sort of fiddle around with the rest but that might not be optimal and that's what's cool about it so we're gonna pick let's pick preachies preachies looking cool i really love these shoulders mm, sexy preachies i re this add-on is just fabulous guys i don't i have never trusted a reforge add-on in the past never ever ever uh, but when i took a look at this one and saw how often these guys were updating it i thought this is sweet so i'm reforged for discipline at the moment so let's switch the game up 
Uh, I've just been told by my raid leader, common situation. Let's throw it out there. I've just been told by my raid leader, look, we don't need another healer, but we're a DPS down. Can you go shadow? Well, okay, shadow, but I want to be optimal while I'm shadow. Uh, so let's just say I'll get rid of my spirit trinket for my super awesome non-heroic gale shadows. But I'm generally going to wear my healer gear because I've never really been shadow. I have an idea of how it works, but how, what the hell am I supposed to reforge for and all this kind of good jazz? So I'll go ahead and I clip my reforge add-on. Priest, shadow, there it is. I need to reforge all this stuff. Ah, it's glorious. I'm just dropping my spirit like a total boss. And it will tell you how to turn your healer set into the most adequate. Let's see how close it gets with a healer set. Because we should be well over the hit cap with the spirit to haste convert the spirit to hit conversion. Oh, we want to consider reforging for everything. Just watch this little bar, guys. Sometimes it switches to this leave reforged items alone. Pfft, you're right, dude. I'm a rich mofo with my 358 gangster dollars. I want to do it. Yeah, reforge for rain. So I'm going to go chest. My ungemmed chest of justice. I'm going to go spirit haste. Cool. And I now want to go spirit haste. Yeah, yeah. Spirit haste on the helm. Okay, so we're just getting rid of all that spirit. The spirit coming out of my teeth. Uh, spirit haste it was, wasn't it? It's got haste on it. Uh, oh, that's not. That's shoulders. Duh. Uh, spirit haste. All these like damn items look damn same. Boo it to spirit haste. So we're just getting rid of all the spirit. Cool, I get it. I want to keep myself some crit. I wonder if it can get me down to the 17% hit cap. That'd be really interesting. Interesting for me. Oh, I'm nerding out big time on this. I don't really am. Spirit haste. The great thing about this is it's not just trying to get you a hit cap. It's actually buffing all your other stats that are your priorities. And that's just fantastic. Because I know you guys say, I just don't think I'm reforging the right way, Preacher. Can you take a look at my character? And I'm like, oh, dude, reforging to get it really optimal is not easy. Well, apparently it is. We used to actually log websites and stuff, didn't we? Like reforger.com. Spirit to mastery. Uh, crit to mastery on my old blue legs. No big deal there. Crit to mastery. And reset the cape. Cool. And 17.29. That's as low as it could get me. I'm pretty sure without going below the hit cap. Boosted my haste. Oh, nearly 2k haste on my shadow priest. Nice. I'm boosted up all my other stats appropriately. This is fantastic. Really, really great, guys. I truly recommend this one to you. I'll put the link in the comments below. Um, Reforginator, if you want to be optimal all the damn time, you don't want to be logging websites and importing armory profiles and all that kind of stuff, I really recommend Reforginator. I hope it carries on for Mr. Pandaria. I imagine there's going to be a ton of updates, an absolute ton of updates as all the classes are being revamped for Mr. Pandaria. So tomorrow we're going to continue with our beta stuff. That's Reforginator, guys. A brilliant little add-on. I really, really like it. I know you're thinking, Preacher, get some gems. Yeah, I will. Don't you worry about that. We haven't done any pre-stuff for a while, but I'm sure we'll get back to it. Reforginator ballers, I hope that helps. You take it easy.